couldn't scuba dive. Oh, I forgot to say. Right, so basically, Emil was supposed to scuba, but he couldn't equalize. He's had some problems with his ears, like whenever we fly, sometimes when he dives down, like surface diving. So he couldn't do it either, which is really sad. But it would have been a 10 out of 10 if he could have dove. Dove? No, it was pretty fucking cool. <laughs> we saw all sorts of things. We saw a shark. I didn't get it on camera because my GoPro died, but it was only like a little white tip reef shark. So it wasn't anything extraordinary, but still never seen sharks. So that's pretty cool. Didn't see any turtles today. But the visibility was good to say that it was cloudy this morning. So I'm actually really happy with our day. Definitely check out Passions of Paradise if you do want to do like a snorkeling dive tour while you're in Cairns. And we book through my adventure project. So also just to note, they do everything for you. You don't even have to worry about it. They put you on the best tours. So maybe if you fancy coming to Australia, definitely check them out. Oh, look, it's my lucky number. <laughs> wow. Did everything I never do in real life I stepped into a room, told everyone to be quiet Cause I had something to say, blew everybody away Wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like Why, where you going, no one special Just going to the store I think I'd have it all, tell you why I'd be more Picking a plate, being a plate She is unruly Never seen her like this Didn't think it existed, no truly She's not in a place, she'll get moody But don't mistake this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules So this is the front, this is my designated seat for the next week This is driver boy over here in his seat And it's actually, it's, oh yeah, we haven't even shown the vlog yet I've got a mullet I'm hot though, but yeah, sweaty. Yeah, it's so warm in here. And it also has like the updated USB C ports, which really is really iconic. And there is the dashboard, it's got like a built in GPS and everything. But obviously, we've just pulled it with our bags, but this is the seating area, and the seat actually turns around. Do you want to try and do oh, it? Yeah. There's a little lever underneath. So this is so that you can eat at the table, but we do already have two seats, so it's fine. So we'll probably just leave it like this. But it is pretty cool that you can turn them all the way around. Then we come over here and there is a double bed on the top, but there is also a double bed on the bottom. They provide pillows and everything like this. Then we have our kitchen. Here's our little stove. Here's our fridge that we've already stocked up with water. And then we've got drawers full of everything here. Pots, pans, we've got a little microwave. Here's our kettle and stuff in here. This is the camper van life, my bros. Then we've also got a little mirror from moi while I get ready in the morning. I think we'll probably just chuck our bags up here. May as well use the space. But I'm so excited. You can put this up to like have a seating area, but I don't think there's any point. We've already got one. The company we've hired this with is called Cozy, so you can actually do relocation for so much cheaper than hiring an actual camper van. We paid a dollar a day and we're doing six days, so six dollars. You pay a $75 deposit, which you get back if you do it like a Google review or a TikTok review or something like that which i think is pretty cool i mean it saves us paying hundreds of you know hundreds of dollars to get a flight to darwin it also makes it a more enjoyable experience you get to see some things that people don't normally see because you'll like fly over it technically like going into the bush so that's pretty exciting i don't know if emil's excited to do all the driving though it's a lot of driving it's a lot of driving it's like 2888 kilometers in six days is it Seven. seven days which is like 31 hours to drive but obviously we're going to split it up and hopefully see some things we have no idea where we're going we're literally just like planning a route and going i may as well shut the door and get it all started my girl, my girl, my girl. So we've just stopped off at the Mila Mila lookout and we're just having some sandwiches. So this is some of the things that we got from Cole. And Mil is just digging into some crisps. That's the honey and mustard ones. Look how they can as well. And this is the view. So this is the Mila Mila lookout. It's really foggy today. You know, it's been quite rainy here, but I still think it's so beautiful. It really reminds me of the British countryside. I'm not gonna lie. But it's just a nice little place to stop. There's a bin there. There's no toilets or anything, but you know, nature calls. So emil has got some salami on his and I'm just gonna make mine. You know, he does all the driving, so I'll do all the cooking. That is basically the agreement we've come to. <laughs> oh, 
Just driving through, weirdly, there is a sign right here. It is the Andara Volcanic National Park, right? And we didn't know where we were going to stay today, but we downloaded an app with the Hire Company Co Seats, and it's like an app that they have. I'll put it on the screen because it's actually really useful. It's got so many rest stops, it's got where you can power your camper vans, it's got toilets, it's got lookout points. Yeah, I think so. And it is so sick around here. We literally have just been driving and we saw a wild boar eating something like dragging it off the road. Uh, we've just seen, I'm not sure if they were wallabies or kangaroos. They could have been, you know, like baby kangaroos. I'm not really too sure, but I think they were wallabies. I saw a snake. He saw a snake, but I didn't get a chance to see it. Loads of wild cows. There's loads of wild cows. Eagle. Oh, the nicest eagle like flew so smoothly in front of our van as well. I feel like, well, obviously you're driving for a national park, but this is just like insane. This is an experience that we wouldn't get if we went with like a tour group or something because you know you're in your own time you can stop you can have a look we're so excited to stay here now so it cost us 44 dollars which we didn't think was too bad they have everything here and for your first night in your camper van you have to basically go and plug in and charge up somewhere so that you have you know enough electricity for the rest of the drive make sure you've got enough petrol make sure you've got enough water there's, in your water pump right Another ho another cow? A horse? That's what is that? Huge. Loads of cows. They're huge. This is crazy. Look at them. They're it's just like. Little clue. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and I think they are wild cows. I, I, I doubt they're milking them and killing them for feed or anything. Like they are just roaming free in a national park. Aren't but they? we're so excited to stay here now. I know the rest of the campsites that we go to aren't going to be as nice as this. We're fine with that. Like we're going to have enough power and stuff. We've got enough food. We've got enough water. We'll have enough petrol. I'm just so excited now. This is really, really, really cool. I feel like this is my favorite part of our whole trip already. Slaying. That's so cool. You can stay in little tents. And then which way? Powered sites. Yeah. Do you think that's a chubby? Oh. Yeah, he's back to his mum. Oh. Look at her. So my group of girls, good morning. We are on the road again. I didn't really film much last night because we were just like settling into our camper van. What was it? Big old cow. Oh. We were just settling into our camper van, kind of getting used to it, and we made some dinner last night. We also saw another snake today, and I don't understand because I just keep missing them. I think. She's so oblivious. No, no, I think because he's looking at the road all the time because he's driving, he's seeing them more. Whereas I'm like looking out like left, right. Hopefully we see another one. I don't want to see one up close, but like I just want to have a little glimpse. And he keeps saying they're brown snakes, which is like the really venomous ones, but they also can look like you know olive pythons i don't even know if they have olive pythons in this part of australia but who knows so we are heading to julia creek today we got up super early why well, i say super early we got up about eight not super early but we got up at eight set off about half eight the place that we stayed at was really good we didn't get to use the amenities as such there was a pool there you can have breakfast there free tea and coffee but we just wanted to get going because we've got a six hour drive today if we want to you know keep to our schedule of was it 500 kilometers a day Roughly, yeah. Roughly, just so we can, you know, get the van back in time and stuff. But we're just enjoying the actual views, driving along and just seeing the views is my favourite thing. So we've literally just had to stop because there is a massive herd of cows right in the centre of the road. And they are not budging, like, at all. I'm a bit scared of cows. Yeah, because they can flip your vehicle. I'm scared because we're on a hill as well, and I don't want anyone to come up behind us, like, speeding. I've got my, uh, hazards on. Hazards on. They are moving. They're removing. That one is staring us down. Come on, 
Come on, move. Go, go, go. Oh gosh. Yes, good work, babe. Successfully herded some cows. Do you see them jump? Oh. Wow. Look at this. Yeah, we need to go really slow. I know it doesn't look super appetizing, but it was actually amazing. And these are my favorite things in the world. These Maggie sachets. I think you can get them for like two fifty-five dollars, maybe. Some places are cheaper than others, and you can get like discounts on, you know, multiple flavors. So we got the satay chicken one, and we also just, you know, threw in some noodles, threw in some onions. Super quick and easy meal. It's not like the healthiest. And obviously, you can chuck in any veg. We're just really tired last night, and just couldn't be bothered to make anything super special. So that was just more of like a tie over meal. And we ate pretty healthily throughout the day anyway. So it was fine but tonight we're probably gonna do a salad you know be a little bit healthier because we'll be stopping a lot earlier as well and i'm just gonna make us some coffees now we're at a fuel station in conjaboy i think it's called and there isn't another fuel stop for 256 kilometers so we've just filled up the tank it wasn't really that empty anyway but we just wanted to make sure that we have enough fuel to actually get there we'll be passing through a few places like richmond and then we finally get to julia creek but that's not for like another five hours so we'll definitely be stopping a few places to make some food but i'm just gonna make me and Emma a coffee in our microwave because he loves a milky coffee hey my darling okay. do you want a coffee we just realized that oh you can see me in there that's not what we just realized but <laughs> we just realized you can't use the microwave when you're not plugged in which we thought you could but we just read the manual and you can't but the stove works and you flick it on this little light and then you turn the gas on outside obviously you've got to make sure to turn it off before you leave but we're just letting the milk basically boil i know that sounds ridiculous but it's just the only way that we can do this so she turned out all right the milk's gone like frothy so that's pretty good and then this is the coffee that we got as well this was like weirdly one of the cheapest ones i was quite shocked because it was a brand one even the own brand one wasn't cheap so and then this is the honey that we got also just another cheap one we're obviously not really that bothered about it. brands and stuff we just get whatever fits the budget but the petrol we filled up today was i believe 83 dollars which isn't too bad and you get 250 free fuel with this as well, as long as you keep your receipts. So I reckon we'll probably do like $100 over, so that's not too bad. That smells amazing, it's like caramelly. I think I've just found my new favorite way to have coffee. You know when people film like carpool karaoke? <laughs> this is the exact angle of a carpool Sick. karaoke. It's so fun, look. Bum, 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 bum. How are you finding your drive? You know what? It was pretty techy early, we had a bit of surface that we should have avoided, but made it. Lots of floods. To be fair, it's a bit of an adventure. Let's not lie in it, babe. It really is. It's a proper adventure. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we haven't seen like a lot of... Um... We've seen like two cars. Yeah, we've seen like two cars. Oopsie! Maybe we've gone the wrong way. Oopsie! Off the adventure. Bathrooms are so nice. Literally obsessed. Pretty decent. Sadly sway there in all the colours. Some love. Emil can't get over how many onions I have with my food, but it's a joke. <laughs> Would you rate it? Decent meal? Need salt? Mm, probably no? not for you. For oh really? For you.
Oh, it's really not doing it justice. I wish you could see these more. So many. I can't even tell you how big this toad is. Oh no! <laughs> He's gorge. I can't believe that toad is so big. Little guy. Look at it riveting. What was that? Oh, good. 